because I've had to go to the hospital on multiple occasions for a few serious injuries, I've been able to see firsthand the way that the staff in the hospital work and seeing them help not only myself but other patients at the same time. I was really inspired by that and I wanted to be like those people being able to help others in their time of need. I met an organisation called Kia ora Hawara. They helped me see insight into the hospital and I really enjoyed my time there, which is why I wanted to continue my pathway on to becoming somebody in the health profession. Uh, I was inspired to work in health um, because I wanted to serve my people, Te Iwi Māori, um, and I wanted to inspire, motivate and support other Māori that wanted to follow in those footsteps as well. Uh, yeah, so for me, working in health um, is something that unfolded quite naturally from school. Really, I'm just so fortunate that I had people around me that saw what was happening for me and my my values and my, um, I suppose, my my talents and things and empowered me to want to, to consider that as an option. People, when I say I'm doing medicine, they're like, oh, wow, you know, it's like, it's a something that's that's cool so we need to strive to use that power for the benefit of our community. I became a mother when I was 18 years old and during my pregnancy I found out that my son would be born with a health condition. Because of this I knew that dealing with our health system was inevitable and I became inspired to learn and gain the skills and knowledge so that I could navigate our health system and uh, make informed decisions to be the best mother that I could be. I first wanted uh, to pursue a job in the medical field uh, in year nine when I did a dissection. Um, I thought it was really, really uh, fun. My parents were also very um, intensive on my privilege and how I could use that to help others. Yeah, so I want to use that privilege to help my community. What inspired me to work in health was actually my initial love of the sciences when I was in high school, as well as my mother working in health already as a mental health nurse. So that's what sparked my interest in it when I was a bit younger to begin with. It meant to me that I would then be leading myself into a workplace or a job with purpose and one where I could share my views and my opinions, which was quite important to me. Um, I know that a lot of people can see their job as just a nine to five and a means to get paid, and that's fine as well. I mean, not everybody has to have a job that they're super passionate about, but I couldn't see myself personally feeling good and getting up every day to go to a job that I didn't necessarily care about or that I was really invested in. So it was really important for me to find a career and to find an industry in which I felt I could make a difference firstly, so something I was good at and something that gave me that purpose every day, that gave me reasonings that sometimes can be hard and sometimes can be really happy, but at least it was something that I cared about. So yeah, that was really important to me. Um, my why uh, has always been and always will be uh, my whānau. I've seen firsthand um, my queer, the deterioration of her health due to the lack of rural medical support. Um, I just feel so encouraged by that, so motivated to not only see but be a part of the change, uh, to be able to help uh, Fano in similar situations, to give them the right support that they need, uh, the right resources uh, you know, to help their Fano recover. They were the beginning of thoughts of subduing our aspirational reality. The thoughts of having this program at my first job and I am loving it. It does me a reason to get out of bed in the morning. Since I've started, I've gained so much confidence and recently I've even moved out of home, which is a really good step for me. I think what initially inspired me to work in health is that my mother was a nurse in her younger years. Um, she had a high school and she's now completing her PhD in Pacific Health. Um, so I'm proud to be within the second generation of my family to attend tertiary education. Um, and I know I'm lucky to have these privileges um, and acknowledge the up and support that I received from, from my whānau um, that was instrumental to my journey and where I am today. Um, but through working in health, I aim to continue my mother's legacy um, as the first graduate in her family and within the health workforce. 
Um, and I hope to one day inspire another member of my whānau or to leader in the community to let them know that they can also be successful in, in a health career um, and make meaningful contributions to Māori health and their whānau in all aspects of health. Um, but in summary, the following Fukutoki reflects what my journey in health and why I continue to aspire to work within health. And it's a quote from Tahimi Henari, and it goes like, Ko tāwhiti ki tō hairangi mai, ki a kore e hari tonu, he tonu nui rawa, au mahi, kore e mahi nui tonu. And this translates to, we've come too far not to go further, we've done too much not to do more.